Good evening everyone. My name remains Michael Taiwo. Today I'll be taking us on printing your work in SPSS. Printing your work in SPSS. Sometimes we don't have our work in SPSS. We have we may want to print our statistical results and graphs in the viewer window or data in the data editor window now these are data editor windows sometimes you may want to print this kind of data out in data editor window how do you go about this sometimes you may also want to print your output that is in the viewer window which i usually call output so sometimes you may want to print out your result directly from spss without converting it to the compatible document maybe you don't need to edit the document you just want to print it out Sometimes you may want to print it out as a form of appendix to your work. Now, the, ne the one of the things to make it easier for you is to display the output or data you want to print. That is, you first launch the data you want to print. You execute it via the viewer or output or data window. Now, if you are printing from an output, that is, this is our output viewer that we are seeing here then what are we going to do we go to our file then you will click on file then the next thing is to go to print or either way around if you don't want to go through navigating through file you can just press ctrl p then we say we choose print then it brings this for you now we have two options we have all visible and we have selected output so this selected output will only work if you have selected some table or one table before you go to your printing before you select print but if you have not select anything all you will have on the print range is all feasible output then here you have number of copies which means that if you want to print two or more or one copies then you can increase the number of copies that you want to print then the next thing is to select the printer you are sending it to here you have a series number of printer depending on the printer that your system is connected to you already know the name of the printer so you just select the printer you want then all you do is just to press ok then you see that sending it to the printer to execute the job but if you want to cancel you just click on cancel then the next thing is you either you exit your SPSS or you do any other things that you wanted to do so that is all for our document on SPSS.